Hey, what's up? We're back. We're back in the land of Skyrim, the snowy, blustery, wintry land of Skyrim. I'm here with Shadowmere. Don't ask me how Shadowmere got across this frozen river, ocean. And I am seeing the beautiful moon in the distance and my the Archmage, the Archmage's college, which we are the Archmage. So yeah, we can see our college from here. And I thought, because we have this nifty little college, and we have our Arcanium with a, a library, I thought that um, we would go and visit our our um, our deceased friend, Septimus. Not because he's, unfortunately, he's deceased, because he messed with Hermaeus Mora and some dwarven artifact. Not my fault. But he had an occult library, I remember. And since he's uh, no longer with us, I thought it might be good to acquire some of these books for our, our library here. And I'm pretty sure we have pretty much every book, but I'm, I'm always surprised. And he did, he was a occult collector. And he particularly specialized in the Elder Scrolls. Nations on the Elder Scrolls. The Shimmar Van... Shimmar Vamidium? The Shimmer Vardium? The Shimmer The Shimmer Shimmerna? Ancient Tales of Dwemer? Antecedents of Dwemer Law? The Effects of the Elder Scrolls? Tension of the Ancestor Moth? Collected essays, Dwemer inquiries, Dwemer inquiries, Dwemer inquiries. Ah, fire salts are fairly rare. See, so he had a, a thing for the skooma. No wonder he's a little, little cray cray. Um, let's see. What can we drop? Drop some stuff. We're getting kind of heavy here. Yeah. That adds a little bit of weight to us. Weight 26. Jeez Louise. Well, I guess Wuthrod is technically a little bit heavier. Oh, we can always buy more arrows. Oh, come on. You just... Um... Okay, we're getting we're getting there. Um interesting. Bothaya's proving Ooh, pictures. This one has a picture on the cover. Need to read it. Ooh, yeah, very cool looking. Started Bothaya's calling. Find the shrine of Bothia. Bothia? Bothia's calling. Bothia Bothia. Bothia's proving the following account is true. May it serve as a warning to those with ears to hear and hearts to know. 
On a certain day, at a certain time, the faithful gather to perform certain rituals, hoping to gain a certain glimpse. No. Hoping to gain a glimpse of their master, the day was correct, the summoning true, without a certainty. Slashing a smoking tear through the veil, she, her very self, appeared before them, terrible and resplendent. She came, arrayed in ebony, darker than a moonless night, wielding a blade burning hotter than the surface of the sun. And although she wore the guise of Dunmer, warrior queen, she towered above them, like a statue carved from the Red Mountain itself. Why have you disturbed me? Surprised, the first among them prayed, O oh, Bothaya, Prince of Plots, Deceiver of Nations, Queen of Shadows, Goddess of Destruction, we come to worship thee. She looked down upon her followers, gathered to bear witness. Frowning, she asked the first, Tell me, you who profess to know me, how shall I know you? I feared, he exclaimed, each night I pray to thee, each night I call out thy wondrous names. Surely thou must recognize the sound of my voice, thy most devoted of believers. She frowned and let out a long sigh. And then, of a sudden, and then, of a sudden, he was gone. He was gone, so he was suddenly gone. The air from her lungs dispersing him. Turning to the second, she asked, and you, how shall I measure the worth of your existence? Stunned by the power of her voice, he bowed before her. Darkening visions, vision. Darkening visit, visions, visions. Vision. Ah, uh, gonna frustrate me. I can say it in my head. Visions. It's like a, yeah. I'm gonna stop now because it's getting embarrassing. She clapped her hands, and he too is gone. And to the third. And you, tell me, how shall I know you apart from such as were they? Of whom there were no of whom there is no trace. Shaken and speechless from the nullifications of his brethren, he whispered, Have mercy upon us. She blinked twice. Once he was in agony, twice he was destroyed. I'm guessing this Boethia is not so benevolent. That's that's kind of sensing a scene with these Daedra. Oh, a, a theme going on these Daedric princes. She cast a withering glance across those remaining and said, I do not grant mercy. And so it was with the others. She putting them to proof, they offering none. Finally, she came to me, eyes aglow with anger, tongue wet with hate, and said, Of all my believers, but two remain. Tell me second to last. With what shall you prove your existence? Without hesitation, I drew forth my blade and buried it into the chest of the other who stood beside me. Without fear, I replied, Ask him whose blood now sprouts from my braid. Sprouts. Sprouts? Like a... Like a plant? Whose blood now sprouts from my blade as if I... My blade, if I exist. She smiled. And the gates of oblivion opened between her teeth. Then she said, Tell me, now last of my followers, wherefore do you remain where others do not? I retrieved my blade and offered it up, saying, I am alive because that one is dead. I exist because I have the will to do so, and I shall remain as long as there are such signs of my handiwork such as the blood dripping from this blade. Accepting my gift, she nodded and said, Indeed, if in the reading your blood boils in your veins and your mind blazons with fire, then Boethia calls you. It is then most wide to heed her call. Find her on the mount, which overlooks Swinhelm. Meet us there and be tested. Oh boy. That sounds messed up. Mm -hmm. 
so Boethia or Bothaya. At any rate, she doesn't seem very... She seems like one of the more vicious Daedric princes we've encountered as far as straight up just killing her followers all willy-nilly. Usually, like, a lot of the other Daedric princes will be manipula manipulative and mess around and then kill their followers. But, like, she seems pretty straightforward in that she just straight up kills them. Tests them really quickly and then kills them if they don't pass the test. It seems pretty gnarly. So I'm not really eager to... Um, test my metal with Boethia, but it is a Daedric quest, and we are trying to get through these Daedric quests. Let's go ahead and drop off a few things. Uh... There we go. Feel a little bit lighter. To Boethia, it is. Oh, I hear mischief. Don't mess with Shadow Hut. Shadowmere. It said Shadowheart. Shadowheart is the name of a character that we are traveling with in uh, Baldur's Gate 3. Um... Nice wintry day near Windhelm. Actually surprisingly calm. You see Windhelm is pretty blustery. Brandy Mug Farm. Or if they have apple and cider, it's the season. You die. What is your quest? Seems like that character from the bridge in Monty Python just arbitrarily asking random questions and then killing them if they don't answer them. Tra Traitor's post? This seems dangerous. So just for all traitors to go there, so like Napoleon Bonaparte, like Judas hang out there or something? Or is it for like everybody that is like, or not, you know, is it all traitors or is it just like traitors to uh, the Empire or the Thalmor or the Stormcloaks? To be more specific. Sorry, Shadow Heart, that's gotta be very painful. So, a fucking shard. A 
Okay. Freezing buns. I'm guessing this is it here. Little Boethia Shrine. Cult. We are Lord Boethia's faithful. Have you come to test your metal? <laughs> this is some kind of cult. We are forged by Boethia's example. We carve our will upon the world through our tongues and our blades. You, you are nothing. An empty vapor dispersed by the slightest breeze. Well, at least I have free will and I'm not part of some cult. I'm not afraid of you. Good. Perhaps I've misjudged. Who is Boethia? The Lord of Plots, Deceiver of Nations, Devourer of Trinomach. The Queen of Shadows, Goddess of Destruction, He who destroys, and she who erases. Hmm. Many are our Lord's lofty names, but they befit only us mortals. Intone her mighty names from now until the end of time. It is for naught. Names mean nothing to our Lord. She only cares for those who care for themselves, whose hearts are full of purpose, whose lives are full of deeds. So it sounds it sounds like uh, their deity is uh, either she's confused or it sounds like their deity has a feminine and a masculine nature or something. My heart is full of purpose and my life is full of deeds. You desire a glimpse of How dare you say I don't have a purposeful this life? Is what you must do. First, prove your tongue can wield a lie. Find someone, gain his trust, lead him to the shrine above. Next, instruct your thrall to touch the pillar of sacrifice. Its magic will ensnare him, rendering him helpless. Of this. Then, girded with certitude, plant the ceremonial blade deeply so that the waters of his heart wash over you. If your will is strong enough, it will stir Boethia in her dark mansion, and she will appear before us. You know, I, I am intrigued to do these daedric quests, but I'm a little picky. I shouldn't be picky, but you know, like, I just, I don't know, like, I, I feel like I feel like I kind of try to walk a moral line. Now we, now we're not definitely not like moral. Like we go, we were part of the thieves guild. We're part of the uh, dark brotherhood. Um, but I try to like not kill innocent people. And I feel like what she's asking kind of crossed the line. And we did that with a handful of other Daedric princes, like the um, one of the Zeus and Pestilus for Mira where we they wanted us to lead a thrall to them and then we ended up just killing all the cultists and i think that's what i'm going to do here i mean it, will carve itself it, the world. it it would be interesting it would be interesting to see um like go through playing like as an evil character and just like do like all these like really dark things but like it just you know, I, I don't... That's not the character we're playing. So, our character is kind of a middle-of-the-road kind of dude. Just, you know, probably the most logical. But, uh, yeah, I'm not leading any thralls up, and we'll go ahead and end this, uh... all thing here going on. Man, she's pretty tough, though. I gotta give her that. And they're tough. This might be a little bit more of a, of a chore than I thought. But yeah, it doesn't seem like there's a lot of uh, uh, 
interpretation of what she wants is pretty evil. You know, like, Sanguine's kind of naughty, and, you know, other ones we can kind of turn down, like Clavica's file. Um, we can still get rewarded without actually, like, getting evil upon them. Have you come to test your metal? Yes, I have. Man, that was a very temporary invisibility. I'm getting them all in a cluster. We have the magical spells. I do wish going back, if I, you know, next time we play this game, I'd like to play it again, you know, not incredibly soon, but like, we'll just pick something to stick with it. Like, we'll be a mage, because I feel like I'm just shy of my potential as a mage, because I try to be like, do a little bit of the fighter stuff and a little bit of the uh, thief stuff, where I feel like. We could have done those guilds, but as a mage. Ugh. Wearing flesh is so oh, distasteful. You have caught my attention, mortal. That is most unwise. Tell me. Why have you slain those who profess to follow in my ways? Because you're evil. I don't care. You're just evil. I abide only. I have a purpose for which you might prove useful. But first, I must test the deftness of your guile and the strength of your purpose. I'm guessing this is Boethia. You're in to my shrine. Prove your will is stronger. Convince him to embrace the pillar of sacrifice and then slay him without mercy. Do this, and I shall remember you and bestow an important task upon you. Do this not, and I shall forget you, and your soul will waste in obscurity. <laughs> she seems like one of those, like, it's from high school and when when you know when we are in high school that's kind of like the cool kid that's like I want you to like you know give me the answers to the test or you're not cool kind of things yeah well we're not gonna do that we're not gonna lure her any thralls but we did get rid of her cult there's gotta be something here of value. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like they were pretty uh pretty messed up. It's the pillar of sacrifice. Yeah, there's just the lead of thrall up here. So we killed all of her cultists, which was good. Now, since we're not inherently good, but we're not evil either, maybe we could find a compromise, this character that we're playing. Maybe we could lure a thrall of someone who is evil and then sacrifice them. 
So that way we could all we could get whatever cool item that she had. And we killed her cultists. And we killed somebody evil. And like kill like two birds with one stone. You know, or three birds. Get three things. With with one foul suit. But who do we know that is evil that we can lure? I am to lead someone to the thrine, shrine of Lothia, instruct them to touch the pillar of sacrifice, and once trapped by its magic, slay them. Where are these guys? Are these guys on the up and up? Eyes are just hunters. What was that? Thought I heard something. It would help them, but every time I do it, it seems to like. Why don't you come over here? Set to my face. Ram! Yeah, it looks like they're just hunters. We need to find some bandits. It might not work. It might... It's worth trying. I'm just trying to stretch my mind and know if there's, like, any... Like... Like... Evil people that are, like... And that's a very intense word. But that are, like, wandering in town. Ooh. Maven Blackbriar. She's, like... She is not a good person. She's ordered so many hits on innocent people and like... I don't know. Not that our hands are clean. We're, we were part of the Dark Brotherhood, but... Um, yeah, like... Maven Blackbriar. Yeah, that fits. How's it going? No. In honor of your sir. The throne suits me, don't you think? I feel like it. You've been a good friend to me. That means something. Excuse my disorganization, but I'm in the middle of some delicate experiments. I have to remember. Ward first, then stop. I wonder if they make it so it's not just anybody that you have to pick like an innocent or something in that case we won't do it but if we can get maven blackbriar yeah the, i guess the key thing is just getting someone to her shrine i've got a lot of respect for the restoration school everything's all right yeah, we kind of, I feel guilty because we put Maven Blackbriar in charge due to the peace treaty and she is going to, like, iron fist Ripton and she is definitely, like, How can I help you? like, not a good person. Jarl Maven Blackbriar has a pleasant sound to it. She's like a drug smuggler, like, I don't know. She's got, like, everything in her hands and every, every... Misdeed in Skyrim. Black Briar. Uh, let's see. Can we? Your service. I need to ask you to stop. That. Good. Glad we straightened that mm -hmm. out. <laughs> 
I have a feeling this will not go well. Good afternoon. Hmm. But we can't talk to her. What is it this time? Be seeing you around. Hmm? Don't you think? Hmm. Is there like some ability? Yeah, I don't know. We might have to pass on it. I'm just trying to think. Let's just try. Let's not actually lure something up there, but let's just try a regular person. Just see if it offers us like. You're gonna stare all day or buy some armor. Come back when you're ready for gold. Like, I wonder if they like. Goodness. Lead someone to become tracked by the. Struck them. I am to lead someone to the Shrine of Boethia, start to touch the Pillar of Sacrifice. I could use it. Go fiddling with <laughs> well, Janessa's pretty evil. But she's she was our wife, and she's dead, but she was apparently pretty wicked. <laughs> if you're looking to settle in Riften, there's a house for sale. Honeyside. See the steward in the keep. I wonder. I wonder. I know we can hire people. Like, the first thing that comes to mind is that gal at the tavern in Whiterun, but I don't think she's just like an evil person. Um, shoot. Maybe we can get one of the Dark Brotherhood assassins to, uh, Come with us. I'm trying to find a loophole so I can get whatever uh, Boethia's uh, ability is. Hello? You can get the Night Mother. The child has prayed to the mother. Speak the Night Mother is definitely evil. At Candle Hearth Hall in Windhelm. How may I serve you? Listen. Accept if his I gold. I am then yours. kill the target. So begins a contract bound in blood. Okay, so. Um. We. <laughs> Definitely, like, the Dark Brotherhood, like, pretty evil, like, yeah, I guess, I guess that makes us evil because we were part of the Dark Brotherhood, but, I don't know. We tried, tried to be as good as we could be. So we killed all the Bothaya cultists, and we're gonna kill an a, a assassin, a heartless assassin. So I 
Although all the people that Dark Brotherhood kills usually have it coming, but I'm gonna assume that she like uh but it's, it's like killing like innocent like old ladies from orphanages. I mean who would do that? Not me. Okay. We're gonna go. Gotta get that good old sacrificial knife. Where is this? Blade of sacrifice. <laughs> this is not suspicious at all. Right? some reason all I think about is like like Isaac and Abraham and having to sacrifice Isaac but then last minute the Lord saves him but this is nothing like that this is this is bad news for her an honor to stand before you um <sighs> struck them touch the pillar of sacrifice. How may I serve you, my listener? I need you to do something. Of course, listener. What is it? Command me, my listener. Of course, right away. Still something you'd like me to do. How may I serve you? Man. I need to lead some of the shrine with you. Instruct them to touch the pillar of sacrifice. Poison shadow, my listener. <laughs> yes, listener. How need you to do okay. something. What is it? Command me, my listener. Of course, right away. Still something you'd like me to do. Doesn't seem like she's trapped by it. How may I serve you? I am yours, Master. How may I serve you, my listener? Of course, listener. What is it? Command me. Use the pillar of sacrifice. Is that all? Maybe she has to stand there. Maybe I have to have the blade of sacrifice equipped. Save it here.
can't die. Dang, she's got a. It's got the. It's got what it takes. How may I serve you? All right, you passed the test. Yes, listener. I'll return to the Dawnstar Sanctuary without delay. Dang. She's tough. Well, I can't really think of, like, anybody else, like... Like, other than murderers, so, like... Yeah, the Assassin's Guild, yeah, they do it for hire. It's technically a business transactional thing, but yeah, it's evil. Not good. Um, maybe vampires. But I, I don't really feel like the Thieves' Guild justifies me bringing anybody up even for the Thieves' Guild. Um, there's, I can't think of any characters in town other than Maven Blackbriar that, you know, I would sacrifice, so we're just going to go ahead and... not do the Bathai quest. And we killed all of her cultists, which is good. So we did do some good. And... Yeah, so... I, would it be cool to see what thing we would have gotten? But, like... Yeah, this is one of those cases, like, in the case of uh, Vermina, where... Yeah, I'm not leading somebody to get eaten alive by cannibal cultists, and I'm not leading an innocent to get slaughtered. And other than the initial, like, for their brother quest with, like, the orphanage caretaker, which I thought was, like, really unjustified. It's, like, the worst thing we did in the game, I... And I mentioned it during that video. I feel like the Dark Brotherhood quests that we went on were, were usually people that, like were part of political conspiracies and part of, like, you know, greater evils that were happening and, you know, were people that had it had it coming where we just kind of, you know, I haven't really, you know, there are no Dark Brotherhood quests that were, like, super, like, evil people or super good people that we were supposed to kill. That helps me, my character sleep better at night. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go ahead and leave it there. Interesting though. The way for us to win the Nord's respect is through hard work. Guys, optimistic look on life. Yeah, this is more like Windhelm weather here. All this kind of blustery. Quite the bridge. Let's go ahead and end it here overlooking the frozen river of Windhelm. Alright gang, good times, good times. Thank you very much for choosing to watch my channel. If you guys like the video, please don't forget to give it a like. And I'll see you guys again soon for another adventure in Skyrim.